every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 291st day of my challenge where, prepare to be embarrassed for me, <laughs> I will try knowingly, consciously hummus for the first time today. I'm sure I've tried it before, but I wasn't aware of that then because I didn't really ever hear this name when I was eating food. Um, it's not something we ate in my family when I was growing up. Actually, chickpeas are not that like pop, not even popular. Like it's not something that common in Lithuanian cuisine. And even the Turks really love their chickpeas. But again, circles I've been hanging around in a uh, they I don't know, never used the word hummus, so I don't know. I feel like today a huge secret will be revealed to me whether and how exactly much was eating hummus before, so I'm really curious about that. If you're curious to see how it goes trying this recipe out for the very first time, thank you for watching. We're gonna need 800 grams of chickpeas, drained and rinsed, 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 2 cloves of garlic, juice of 1 large lemon, 6 grams of fresh parsley, 2 tablespoons of tahini, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna make hummus in the food processor uh, with a blade attachment. So to it, I'm gonna add pretty much every single ingredient you just saw, minus the extra virgin olive oil. So chickpeas, parsley, garlic, lemon juice, tahini, and salt and pepper will go here. And then I'm gonna go along, well, literally, I'm gonna go to the base of the food processor and pulse until I have a coarse mixture. This is how it looks like. As you saw, I was scraping the sides with a spatula from time to time just to ensure even blending. So now I'm gonna put the lid back on and with the motor running, that is, I'm gonna be pulsing and adding extra virgin olive oil a little bit at a time at the same time. And I'll continue pulsing until I get a nice smooth mixture. out once and for all. This smells amazing by the way. Ah, so fresh. I definitely tried it. This texture feels so familiar. But it's, it's not, I remember, you know where I tried it now when I think about it? On Turkish Airlines flights, they often serve something, which I never knew what it was, in a little cuppy. Mm-hmm. My god, this is nice though. This is way better than that thing. This has such a fresh note from the lemon. I'm guessing from the parsley and the cucumber as well. I love that there's a hint of um, garlic there. Very slight, not overpowering at all, but there's, you know, like something, something. And also I could have put a little bit more salt. <laughs> I feel like with such things, just a tip from a sort of like a, not an experienced cook, don't try to season things uh, when you just add them to the food processor because you can, if you can, good for you, but I cannot judge the amount of just like raw ingredients inside once it gets into such kind of, you know, form 
Oh, sorry, I have a draft. It's really hot and I kinda not fully closed the door. <laughs> Anyways, once it gets when it gets to sort of like a normal size, you know, perceivable size, then it's really easy to season with salt and pepper. At least that's what I feel like. So this could use a little bit more salt, but other than that, this is great. Oh my god, my husband. He will be obsessed with this. Oh, oh, I just realized this will go right next to the, what was the name, olive tapenade I tried not that long ago. Uh, this is totally such party food. I feel I'm going to Lithuania prepared. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I wasn't sure because, like, I don't know, I felt like whatever I tried before uh, was like, even though I wasn't really sure that I'm trying that, but I was like, whenever it was something weird, I'm like, wait, is this hummus? <laughs> it was never that exciting. This is though super exciting because it's light, it's fresh, it will be super filling, it's, it looks really cute. You can serve it with a ton of things. The same like olive tapenade with a bunch of veggies. You could also serve it as you can see, I'm serving it with cucumber. You could serve it with, um, let's see, carrots, bell peppers. I always start blanking, but there's so many. <laughs> I put them all in the written description. Wait, what was there? Oh, celery. That's why I'm blanking because I don't really like celery. So, and also you could serve it with baguettes or I feel like this would be also kind of cool with chips. I mean, you kind of make something healthy and you then you add something not healthy, but just like that crunch from the chips. I loved it. Anyways, and this is how Laura's hummus, I, I'm, I'm so like proud even to say hummus looks like. If you want her to check out her video, the link is there in the cards. The written recipe is as always in the description box below in both American and the metric systems because I am converting every single recipe I try into a metric system. And that's it from me. I mean, I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm really pleased that my list of food, party food, like, what, what was I saying? The list of party foods is getting longer. I feel I'm going prepared there. That makes me really happy. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if hummus is something of like a normal thing to you in your culture. And let me know where you're from because in Lithuania, that's certainly not something usual. Certainly not. Turkey, I feel like I was just hanging around and like different kinds of places but i feel like this i will ask my husband you know what that's what i will do i will ask if hummus is something traditional in turkey that's it that's my task of the day <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye